velocity there as well. Haksan Mood leads at the moment from Mickey Isle. Zach Burton getting desperate on Aero Velocity. They've got to catch Haksan Moon. Aero Velocity jumping out of the ground. Aero Velocity goes to Haksan Moon. Hong Kong gets up and wins. Jack Burton wins with Aero Velocity. Haksan He's winning, keep winning and give us very happy moment. Uh, we had an up and down situation this season, but uh, I think mean, most likely because he's my first horse and I had a in touch with this animal, just unbelievable. I don't know how it can tell in front of everyone, but it is like, he's my part of my life. Aero Velocity, Emperor Max, down the outside, Rich Tapestry, Lucky Nine looking for a way through. Zach Spirit trying to finish on its Aero Velocity, the leader. Emperor Max running a great race on the outside, Lucky Nine can't go on with it. Rich Tapestry down the outside, but Aero Velocity is clear over Emperor Max, and Aero Velocity is going to take the Chris Flyer. Aero Velocity for Zach Burton into the end Emperor Max, another second in the well, race. Gaka is definitely one of the most favourite taught in, in, at the moment in Hong Kong. Um, every time if I go to uh, like Gaisi or market, the people recognize my face. We just say, hey, uh, when is your horse going to next, uh, you know, next race and something like that. Which is, uh, well, just put, I'm so proud of it. Well, Paul has been working so hard on this horse and uh, he bought this horse as Yiling and he tried so many times. Uh, with uh, different owners before and I think I just lucky one that uh, got him. Um, he and I and, t and, and the team like Zach and uh, also uh, don't forget his assistant Pierre was done a tremendous job for the horses and uh, we just love being together and I, I think we're just going to keep a lot of horses with Paul. Aero Velocity, he's kicking on the inside. Pinophobia has got the job to get him. Aero keeps kicking, and Zach Purton takes out the sprint on Aero Velocity. Wins Long story short, to... things weren't going well at the time, and last time out, he still got a pin source here that looks pretty smart. And he, we tried to sell him as a PPG. I hawked him all around the sixth floor up there, and with no joy. And then we qualified him. The same thing happened, and then Daniel just rang me out of the blue. He said, "Do you want to come and have a coffee?" So. We chatted for probably an hour, and he said at the end of the conversation, he said, uh, I've got a PP permit, can you find me a horse? I said, yeah, I've got a horse for you. And uh, the vet, he didn't stand up very well on the vet, um, and, you know, Daniel just asked me my opinion. I said, given the circumstances, I think, you know, what he's got uh, won't affect his racing career, so again, he took my advice. And, uh, you know, the first season, you know, we had promise, but we didn't win a race, and, you know, you give him five runs, you don't win a race, sometimes you get back the next year, they're not there, but he's you know, never flinched and um, he's been marvellous to train for. And I think I think he showed his greatest character, it was after, the, inter after the, the first start of the season when things went wrong and things blew up and, you know, he was, um, you, know, you know, just took it, took it in his stride and, you know, wanted the horse rested and that's what I wanted to do. In fact, we sat down in the office for a meeting and I said, I'll tell you what I want to do, Daniel. He said, well, I want to rest it. So I said, I'll work. We're on the same wavelength, but um, you know he's been an inspiration for any young owner. They should follow his lead and you know and enjoy the horse and uh, listen to the guy that rides it and the guy that trains it. Able friend first up under his big weight is trying hard. Aero Velocity charging home on the rails. Super jockey in front. Aero Velocity the inside. Able friend and smart volatility. Aero Velocity driving here. The at pressure Super isn't jockey. there. Some owners are probably reading down your neck a little bit, how refreshing is it to have this type of relationship with an owner? Yeah, well, it's good. It's, it's something different. Um, but Daniel's been a great owner to ride for right from the start. He's, he's never put any pressure on anyone. And, you know, when the horse hasn't won, he, he hasn't been one to blow up at all. He um, sends a message at night and, and just says, oh, I hope my horse pulls up well and let's try and look for the future. Don't worry about today. You know, he's, he's very positive in that regard. But there are a lot of different side stories that have come with this horse as well. It hasn't been smooth sailing right from the start. Obviously, Paul was at a difficult time um, in his career here in Hong Kong. He was battling to find an owner for a horse. He found an owner for him. Um, it was Daniel's first horse. Uh, he was by no means a star in his first season. Uh, he didn't win a race in his first season. No, he was actually getting injuries in the first season. So it took a little bit of time to start to see the best of him. He came back uh, in his second season and um, I think he, he ran second or third his first start and then I, that's when I got on him in the second start. Uh, we ended up winning four races in a row and, you know, along the way he never looked like he was going to be the horse that he is. He's just got better and better as he's gone on and he's taken us on a great journey from 
you know, trying to kill me uh, coming out of the gates one day when he, he nearly took my head off on the crossbar and, and came out last, was able to win. Um, you know, he's broken his Marfu's arms and collarbones. He's a maniac to get on the track. Um, you know, he tries to climb over the ponies to get out there. But once he wins a race, he comes back in, he's so quiet. But he's taken us all around the world. We've, we've won, uh, obviously, the, the international sprint in Hong Kong. We've been to Japan, we've won there. We've been to Singapore, we've won there. Um, you know, he came back this season, he had the heart of regularity, and we didn't know if he'd come back from that. And he's come back in devastating fashion and probably put in a career best performance. So along the way, it hasn't been smooth sailing. And I think that adds to the story as well and makes us all appreciate it a lot more.